This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, show me the Jenkins console. So guys, yesterday we started how to, uh, I showed how to build an application. So if it is a Java application, okay, now we use this Maven guys. So we have Ant Gradle also for Java applications. For, uh, but the thing is, Maven is the advanced one. Okay, now. So actually, that much deep knowledge we don't require because it's Java based, Java developer work. Okay, so but we should know what is Maven. So in yesterday's job, like uh, I given one command. As of now, what my GitHub repos, sorry. My Jenkins job, it's the doing guys. Every time, whenever developer committed the code, okay na. Only whenever developer commit the code, not every time. Okay na. Pull SCM, what it does? It won't trigger the job. It will check the SCM. If SCM has updates, it will trigger. That is the thing. And post build step. Sorry, build step. So guys. Here, what happened? Yeah. So we used Maven command yesterday. So okay now, what it does? What MVN does? Go back. uh anybody else has the setup guys only for avinash i'm getting like this i don't know yesterday dinesha who, who shared the screen master huh? Huh? Master, master. Master, master. okay i don't know in your screen only like it's not working i don't know maybe some network problem somewhere it could be hmm okay we'll discuss about maven guys before running this so guys as i told maven is a build tool okay now maven is a build tool and uh, it will read the pom.xml file guys can you go to your github repository once huh. open that maven repository so this is just a sample code guys i got it from google so i given to you not only this code guys any code okay now not only this code any java code compulsory has this form.xml file and src folder web content folder that is mandatory guys that is a syntax for your java code so inside your src and web content only you have the actual code okay now but what is there in form.xml file so guys here what exactly you are doing what is your project name your uh, code uh, why why you build your code so this is the application you are building and this is uh, your version of that application and this is your type of the package where means web application guys web archive where is nothing but okay now web archive web where means jar means uh, generally mobile related kind of application okay now so with uh, java we can build these applications if it is java code see here here source directory src from where i have to pick my code that is what source directory okay so all related dependencies so available in this form.xml guys just information your project information your application information okay now project ob object model form.xml is nothing but okay now project object model it has all the project information your artifact information artifact means the application which you are going to build okay now which version i am building which type of application i am building what is the name of that application what dependencies i have 
libraries, source directory, everything available in this pom.xml, guys. So here your Maven read this uh, pom.xml file. Actually, here can you please uh, re-log into this Jenkins machine? So here I'll, uh, already yesterday we installed Maven, right? Is it a new system? So my job is running on my master machine. So I will have the like uh, that workspace in the master only. Okay, so always my job will refer my workspace guys. Based on my workspace only, my job uh, will trigger. Okay, now there only I will get the latest code every time. What is the default directory for workspace guys? First of all, what is the home directory of Jenkins? What is the home directory of the Jenkins guys? Where? Lib Jenkins. Here under this workspace and your job name. What is your job name? Uh, AVA. Okay, here only every time you will get your code. Okay, so in workspace only. And your Maven commands also will trigger based on this workspace only. So whatever the build steps you are given, right? So build steps also till will be triggered based on this workspace only. So it will read this code, whatever the latest code you get here. Okay. And which pack, which command you given? Actually, Maven has different commands, guys. Different life cycle, different stages, different goals. Okay. Goals are now stages and na life cycle and na all are same okay so we have validate means mvn validate mvn compile mvn test mvn package mvn verify MVN install, MVN deploy. Okay. Like this, different stages we have in Maven, different life cycle, different goals we have. So, validate means just validating the syntax, whether it's uh, in proper syntax or not. So, compile means generally, guys, Java is high level language. Okay, now machine cannot understand. Okay, now so your sister, your Maven will compile it, means it will convert it into machine language. Okay, so test means if any test cases integrated, okay, now with uh, your code, the test cases will be executed. So package means building an application, the var file or jar file or year file, it will build. Verify means the application verification commands. If you have any, so you can integrate in POM. Everything, it, ba it works based on POM.xml, guys. Maven works based on POM.xml. Okay, now if you give anything here, that information, that related uh, uh, information, you have to put in that POM.xml. Okay, 
so install means whatever the application package you build right that installation in the current machine deploy means copy from here to remote location okay now these are the different stages or goals available with maven so one of the stage we use yesterday if you see i used a package that means it's building an application the var file okay now so later i will install somewhere guys but as of now i just build it okay let's save it one more time i don't know for you why it's not working anybody has the jenkins setup guys quickly please respond Yes, shall I share my screen? Yeah, Bhaskar, please go ahead. Show me your Jenkins. Give me control as well. Just a minute. Give me control. It's already there. Mm, not sure. I'm not able to control. Yeah. Okay. I'm using my repository. Why you added this many? So I just added actually for practice purpose I started. Mm -hmm. I have created three repositories. Oh okay, okay. Remo yeah, remove everything. Yeah. Only make it one as of now. Meanwhile, I have one doubt here. Can I ask now? Yes, tell me. So I have added three repositories, right? Hmm. Here I have three repositories. Mm -hmm. When I did any change here, so in Jenkins, it is triggered, but here it is showing like the repository is like the, this one is triggering first one. What I am Configuring in here, first one, this thing is. See, Java, hello, all. this one is here, right? Mm. So only the first one is triggering here. See, for example, Now I'm report. I'm going to put some okay. some change here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But here it is showing uh, in Java hello world only, right? No, I, don't know, I think, think it is triggering for all the repository. If I did any change no. in particular repository, all it is downloading, not only that one. 
ఆప్షన్ okay okay so these kind of things we can avoid in a pipeline only example if you want to clone that particular repository only okay but so yeah. pipeline is the best yeah. here also maybe we may have but generally we use uh, uh, that pipeline only so the current uh, type i am showing is free freestyle okay na first of all to understand the jenkins i am showing in freestyle but once okay. uh, you understand this architecture so i will show you the pipeline project so okay there you will get more option so whatever the challenges you have here you can uh, fix those here some options we have to find out okay yeah. so same question but, but, hmm. yeah but suppose it's supposed to trigger the single repository right yeah. that's what you should have some yeah. option for that Okay. You should select. Even right now, I don't have the answer for that. Okay. So that's what. Again, you see here we have additional behaviors. So depends on our requirement. We have to choose. Like every project has their own requirement. Okay. Na underu anni water gada. Everybody won't use everything, right? So it depends. Depends on our requirement. We have to find out the solution. okay so right now even i don't have the answer for your question okay hmm. so i have to google again for this answer hmm. keep it keep it ah okay ma'am and repo ma'am and repo yes polsm ma'am and package okay. so every time whenever i upload anything guys in my github immediately my jenkins job trigger so in under the work directory under the workspace i'll get that latest code i'm just just a minute i will try to minimize this thing not able to minimize it Just you can drag it. Yeah. Give me control. Yeah. what is the workspace guys cd var i think it is inactive create launch uh, restart the session appearance go ahead go ahead okay every time my workspace will be this one what is my job name sample okay here only i will get the latest code every time 
Okay. So guys, see my form dot Please, please uh, don't use this many form dot Okay. So we'll do one thing. Actually, there is one option. Why? Because previous builds uh, downloaded rep uh, code from different repositories, right? Maybe even if you delete them also, still that code will be available in the workspace. So I'll make sure that every time my workspace is uh, cleared uh, before the build, every time it will clone freshly from my repository. Okay. Now if I trigger it, so manually also I can trigger guys because I anyway I showed already that whole same behavior every time, but just for time being I'm building directly. I'll come out. See now, it will be fresh always. So as I told, Maven has this many life cycle, guys. So Maven, can you please delete this? It seems you have some credentials. You can unshare if required. Yeah, you can type here no problem. Yeah. Okay, as I told, Maven has different commands, guys, different stages, different life cycle. Okay, so we have to use one of these. Test package, verify. Install, deploy. So based on your requirement, based on a developer call, we have to use one. I use the Maven package. So first, it as per my job, it will download my repository in the workspace. So it will read pom.xml. Okay, now. So I no need to say any path where to go and all. By default, whatever the build steps I have, right? all build steps will be triggered based on your workspace only so in your workspace already pom.xml is there so it will read this file and it has the information about your dependency source directory the web content directory so it will go to this folder and this folder and based on the information i have here so it will go to this folder and this folder and it will create a target folder Here you have the application. See, this is your application name. This is your version name. This is your type of the application. Guys, this is your type of the application. Okay, now, so like this, uh, different, uh, like, uh, like this, Maven will work, guys. Okay, so that Maven pom.xml file and all will be taken care by uh, your uh, developer. Okay, now it's a developer call. Maybe if I, here and there, if any issues also, we can Google and fix. Okay, so this is about the Maven, guys. Yeah, Amar, Actually, what can I do this again? Form.xml huh? again. What is form.xml? Form.xml stands for Project Object Model. Okay, now it has all the information about your project, about your artifact. Okay, so see what is this application you are building? What is the version you are building? Which which type of application you are building? Okay, so those things it will show you and uh, the dependencies what are the dependencies to build your application okay that information available okay so see from where i have to read my content my course uh, what i can say uh, my code okay see web content src all this information available there in pom.xml okay na if anywhere guys here form.xml with the help of this form.xml even like example in another project i need this kind of uh, code so i no need to build it from scratch guys so i can reuse this okay 
I can reuse this configuration there also. So that is the advantage here with form.xml or uh, uh, what I can say with this uh, form uh, Maven. Okay, Maven will help you in that way. Okay, so very easy uh, tool to build your application, Java based application. For Java based application, we use Maven, guys. Okay, na? I hope you understand. So, Amar, one question is Yes, tell me. Actually, na, first two man code undi and build chase and one turn army already. I build sir chupi sir yet club building a complete lena co. You go target lo build in running. Target. So, actually, I don't have target folder in my code. If you go to, if you go to repository. I don't have target folder. Do we have target folder here? No. Right? We don't have. So your Maven created it. First, Maven will read this form.xml file. Okay, now based on the information available here, it will go to SRC and web content and it will create target folder. See, target folder created here. Under the target folder, it created my application. This is your artifact. This is your application, guys. Okay, that is what artifact. Okay, fine. Artifact yeah. and the application and the vocate. Oh, no. okay. Artifact is nothing but your application. Okay. okay. Whatever the application you build, whatever the like uh, uh, var file or jar file you build, right? That is called as artifact. This is artifact now. Okay, thank okay, you. Yeah, and here, okay, this is about map. And guys, can you please open your note? Sorry, paint session once. So guys, everybody mute yourself. Everybody mute yourself, guys. Actually, I'm not able to control your screen every time. Okay. So this is my Jenkins. This is my developer mission. Okay. So this is my code repository. Every time I'm just pushing the code into GitHub, immediately my Jenkins job is triggering okay that is fine but here the problem is guys not only this application right you have many applications okay now so in your project you have different different functionalities different different applications so we'll create all our jobs in jenkins only guys yes or no not only one job whatever the job i showed is just one but like that we have different different jobs in our project okay now so we have different different uh, projects we have different different applications we have different different uh, functionalities we have so everything if you run on master guys if you if you run everything in master okay so there will it will be a problem again you will get performance issues guys okay now again you will get performance issues if you if you run everything and master maybe multiple jobs triggered at same time maybe you have different developers they are working on different different functionalities if multiple jobs in one shot what will happen the system will slow guys yes or no performance uh, it will take huge time generally guys now it's taking hardly one time one minute to build my application whenever i trigger the job right whenever i trigger the job hardly it will take one minute okay but here but in real time it may take half an hour 45 minutes because of the code size guys okay now because of the code size it will take half an hour one hour so if you run multiple jobs at the same time then it will increase the 
performance uh, i mean it will reduce the performance right so that's where we can add the slave machines to our uh, master machine guys the slave machine is nothing but here no jenkins required but we will set up the communication with my jenkins and whenever the policium triggered okay now so what will happen first it will connect to my slave machine in this slave machine my job will be triggered not here okay in jenkins master i have just configuration the job configuration and all and uh, it will connect in the background to my slave machine here my job will trigger okay now so here we can add n number of uh, what i can say um n number of slave machines based on the requirement guys okay so based on the requirement we can add n number of slave machine generally like based on environment example all development jobs i want to run in one slave machine or maybe one application related all jobs i want to run in one slave machine like that okay now based on application or based on uh, what i uh, maybe environment you can set up the slave machine so today i will show you how to add the slave machine okay now the same thing whatever you did here uh, whatever the job you triggered here now you can trigger here can i have one more ec2 instance Mar, uh, can we consider this slave machine as uh, one of the microservice, something like that? No, no, it's not microservice. Okay. It's just additional uh, support server for Jenkins. So, as you said, like if we are uh, we are having one application, so we are getting some. Uh, uh, performance issues we are uh, trying to uh, increase one of the slave machines okay what about like uh, can't we do it in uh, microservices and uh, do that kind of... wait wait don't include multiple things here okay so we'll talk about that later okay okay i uh, mean the just first, understand, first I mean, understand the architecture Okay, if you add multiple things here, don't include microservice as of now. That's a separate topic. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to set up master and slave architecture, guys. So what is the concept of slave? So why slave is required? So to support our master, guys, to reduce the load on master, okay, now we use sub master machine, sorry, slave machine. Always set the host names, guys. So in that way, you can make it, uh, you can identify the servers. Actually, we have to make permanent. As of now, I'm making uh, temporary. Guys, if you make like this in normal host name command, it is not permanent. After reboot, okay, it will be gone. Pseudo hmm. hyphen. So if you relog in, then only it will. But this also set the host name. Now be recorded. Not to create any
okay so now our master and slave machines just uh, our servers ready now how to set up the communication guys both are linux machines only right so here my question is when polsm is triggered my server my master should connect to slave machine guys obviously both are linux right how to connect to remote linux machine general question how you are connecting now from windows to linux ssh ssh 50 means ssh application guys same linux to linux also ssh only but you don't need putty okay so uh, directly they can talk to each other by using ssh so guys for remember one thing any servers line to connect to your linux box there are three ways username password username private key public key private key okay now so these are the ways guys to connect any linux machine so these are the three ways here we are going to use the first method first for, for this connectivity okay now for my master to slave machine I'm going to use the first method, but I'm in, I'm using Amazon Linux, sorry, like a AWS machine. I built my servers in AWS. So by default, actually username, password is won't, uh, you cannot, you cannot use by default. There is one setting actually. Okay, now in slave machine, I have to do this. Why? Because I'm connecting to slave machine, right? From master. So there is a file called SSH. So password authentication, no will be there. I have to make it yes. See, I have to make it yes. Okay, and I'm saving. So after any change, I have to restart the service actually. Okay, I restart. Now, the password authentication works okay but i don't have password so which user i need for that particular user i need the password now i'm setting for root user it depends on your requirement guys so which, what is the username you want to trigger uh, you want to run your job so that's up to you and here in master actually guys remember one thing here this is application level user uh, uh, here Bhaskar is there, right? This is application level user, Jenkins application user, not Linux user. Application level users different, Linux users different. With this Bhaskar now you cannot connect to your Linux box. Linux level user is different. Okay, now. Nah. Okay. So, when you trigger your job actually, what will happen mean? It will connect with Jenkins user, guys. There is a user called Jenkins. When you install Jenkins application, Jenkins Linux user is installed, is created. Okay, now. But uh, you cannot log in to that. There is one setting again we have to do. Do you know this file? Anybody? Anybody, do you know this file? To check the users. Guys. To see the users. Do you know what is this file? To see the users. Sort of application files. Hmm? Anybody? You can see the users in this file. So this is user details, guys. All your user information available here only. See, for Jenkins, there is no shell, actually. Without shell, any user cannot log in, guys. OK, now. So actually, in the background, Jenkins can log in. OK, your application can connect to your server by using Jenkins user, 
but you cannot log in because there is no shell so i changed the shell guys bash is the shell name without shell what is shell this is shell guys for every user shell is required compulsory if shell is there then only you can log in not only username password okay what is shell you say shell will take your command and it will send it to kernel and kernel output it will send it to you again that is the shell responsibility so by default for security purpose they disable that shell for that jenkins user so i enabled it okay na? now i am connecting to jenkins user guys this is how from one user to another user you can switch now i am root user right so i can directly switch i don't have a, i don't need any password okay na so here just a minute guys okay now i'm setting up the communication ssh i'm just testing guys i'm testing the communication with my slave machine my slave machine ip address is this one yeah see i'm able to connect now with the, this is jenkins mission i logged in with jenkins user see i am able to connect to slave mission now let's add this information to my jenkins application go to dashboard i'm sorry i need java mission also java application here without java i cannot actually please make it like this guys because the version which you are using it won't support 17 if you give simple java it's taking 17 version guys java 17 version is not working 11 version only working okay java mandatory in slave mission so guys in slave i did not install any jenkins i don't have jenkins guys here okay so now i'm ready to configure so i as of now i set up the manual communication guys i tested manual communication what i did in slave mission first i enabled the password authentication i set the password for my user then in master i logged into jenkins user but by default jenkins user doesn't have the shell so i changed it then i am able to log into jenkins by running this command okay um, okay so next i successfully tested manual execution manual communication okay now, now i am going to add automation manage nodes new node so example this is dev server guys okay now create So in slave machine, what uh, what is your uh, workspace? Example, I'm giving slash root. It's up to you. Okay, now what is workspace? As I told, there only you'll get the code, latest code. Launch method SSH. Provide your IP address. okay oh sorry these are github credentials i have to add again one more time username is root my slave machine credentials guys these are password also i used root only description dev server
Okay. I added the slave machine credentials. Now save it. If everything correct, yeah, you should get like this. Wait. Yeah, see. If everything correct, you will get like this. Otherwise, it will show in cross mark, something like that. Okay, now. Now your devil uh, successfully your slave machine is added. Guys, in slave machine, I did not install anything. Okay, now go to your job. Now I can run my job in my slave machine also. But job related, all the stuff I should need, guys. In job, what are the things I need, guys? A job related MM Kaval Naku. Guys, first of all, what is this? Git checkout required. That means Git is required. Then only your job will be successful, guys. And Maven also. I'm using Maven commands also, right? In this job. So all those things you should have in your then only your job will be successful. Now I'm in my job. Here see actually this option previously it was not there okay now, now only you got this option previously before um, if it is only master this option won't be there but no you have slave machine also right so your options will be there so dev server is my please make sure that there is no space if you should get like this now save it now let's see my job will trigger now on slave mission you can see that information here where it is triggered see building remotely on dev server see this is your workspace so now when the job is triggered okay now so first it will check that where to trigger right where to run the job so by using that node information it will connect to that node in the background and the job will be started there only git checkout will happen i mean git clone and then after that maven command everything now in your slave mission you have to check So now onwards, your job will trigger in slave mission. This is additional server, guys, supporting server for master. Because if everything run on master, okay, you will lose your uh, performance. Okay, now you will get some performance problem. Okay, that's a thing. That is how we'll uh, so tomorrow onwards, guys. Baskar or someone else, maybe I don't know for Avinash, it's not working. So please try one more time. Maybe uh, even I am not understanding some net. I think maybe you may have a network problem or something. Try with different okay. machine instead of Amazon Linux. Okay, now go with Red Hat or CentOS or Ubuntu. Maybe you may get okay now. Sure. and uh, here everybody whoever is going to share i need these two machines master slave whatever the uh, uh things i have now right away right who will set up guys tomorrow class sure. right. sure. who has the setup Sure. hello tell me sir hello who has your setup hello so who will set up, oh, sorry who will set up the things in tomorrow class i need master slave guys hmm i'm not sure you have to speak okay avinash 
but avinash has some getting some problem maybe try with different operating system along with avinash i need support from others also baskar will you do it yeah sure amma it's already there right i am not going to do it anything i'm not able to hear just a minute hello are you able to hear me now yeah yeah yes. i'm sorry now, now i am able to hear i'm sorry yeah uh it's my problem then already there right uh, i'll keep like this one uh, yeah yeah it. sure yeah okay yeah okay then guys that uh, yeah, yeah. if any uh, thing happen directly it will go to slave or maybe if uh, the master is busy then it will go to slave no no slave only because i clearly uh, configured here it should run in slave only right so okay so when i don't give this information helpful if, if i don't give this information then it is jenkins decision then okay okay na so yeah. now everything will run in slave only because i clearly said here i clearly informed jenkins please go to jenkins only slave machine only okay na yeah that's what okay then okay so we'll meet again tomorrow guys sir 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 yes yes tell me సార్ అటెండెన్స్ ట్రై చేస్తే కూడా అవట్లేదు సార్ నాకు అప్డేట్ ప్రాబ్లం వస్తుంది సంథింగ్ ఏం ప్రాబ్లం ఉందో నాకు అర్థం కావట్లే నీ దాంట్లో నెట్వర్క్ ప్రాబ్లం ఏమన్నా ఉందేమో మేబి లేదు సార్ లేదు సార్ లేదు సార్ అట్లా చెక్ చేసి పెట్టాను సార్ హ్మ్ బట్ ఐ ట్రై విత్ యా ఐ ట్రై విత్ యు అండ్ ది రిఫ్రెష్ బై సార్ యా యా ట్రై విత్ యు బంటు ఆల్సో యా సార్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ యు యు ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ప్రాబ్లం ఐ డోంట్ నో వై హ్మ్ ట్రై విత్ యు యా ఓకే ఓకే సార్ బాయ్